Open Sourcing Sustainability Hubs, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 200. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 200, January 22nd, 2017 edition. As always, I'm recovering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us on social media and follow our updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred all of the written content for the sharing lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of sharing is now 100% completely written on our website. Behind the scenes, we completed 100% of the written part of the caring and kindness lesson plan. We also completed the second 25% of the mind map for the cognition lesson plan, bringing that to 50% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is Duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team added Dr. Matt Martrano's food bar information to the food bars page and organized it into sections, bringing the page to about 15% complete. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team created several new icons for highest good housing. And we tested various platforms for hosting the Seven Villages online book. You can see some of this work and the related testing notes here. In addition to this, the core team continued working on the renders for the communal eco-shower structures that are part of the Earth Bay Village Pod 1. This week, we updated the texture of the floor, adjusted the lighting, and added internal walls and appliances. Adrienne gould Choquette, mechanical engineer, also finished her fifth week helping create the standardized AutoCAD layers and line weights template, and she started researching additional HVAC options for the Earth Bay Village and the Duplical City Center. What you see here is a collage of her work on both of these areas. Shilsey Augustine, architect, started updating the layers and color details for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2, as shown here. And Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 52 of his work that continues focusing on lighting, texture, and other aesthetic details inside the homes. The progression you are seeing is a series of 72 renders showing this development and finishing with this final render of what this living space will look like. Lighting complete, Dean then created this final perspective looking the other direction too. Adding details to Dean's previous work, Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, added people and nature elements to create this new final render of the Cobb Village center view looking northwest. 
and this back view looking southeast. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 28th week helping with the compressed earth block village pod 4 design details. This week's focus was continued development of the furniture, plants, textures, and layer colors for the different scenes shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Jin Shifeng, environmental consultant, continued her research helping us create an in-depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her 18th week of behind-the-scenes work on this area of the project. This week's focus was finalizing the data needed for the website and graphics creation and creating open source spreadsheets so others can duplicate this work too. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also developed this final version of the city center root cellar where large-scale food storage will be maintained. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shunan e, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the city center structural engineering. What you see here are the newest calculations for wind and snow loads. Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, continued his work on the energy infrastructure for the city center. This week's work focus was beginning the development of a spreadsheet and tool outlined here for calculating battery and solar array size and cost comparisons for grid versus non-grid setups. Lucas Tasui da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, also finished integrating last week's basement and dining dome equipment updates for the control and automation systems layout as shown here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team continued exploration of this video effect that we'll share on our website and in our new introduction video, the locations of everyone who has volunteered with our organization. Hannah Gibbs, web developer, also completed her second week of helping develop the Taxes and Sustainable Community Building page. What you see here are the first round of images she's created that will link to the tax codes for each state. Ashwin Patil, web developer, and Jennifer Zhao, web designer, also completed another round of edits to the search engine for the highest good education component and highest good housing villages. This included modifying existing links and adding new links to live search engines and sets of code developing behind the scenes, as seen here. One community is open sourcing sustainability hubs through open sourcing an evolution of sustainability that we think that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. This evolution of sustainability takes the physical foundations of sustainability and it merges them with the emotional foundations of sustainability to create a completely sustainable lifestyle. The physical foundations that we're open sourcing are food, energy, and housing, and the emotional foundations that we're focusing on are fulfilled living practices, high good education, high good economics, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability that creates the foundation for teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, open source sustainability hubs, to be spread around the world, working in collaboration and cooperation to create a better world for everybody. We believe that if we make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And we see a self-replicating solution as really the only way to address the diverse and complex challenges of this generation and generations to come. Simultaneously addressing these foundations because we see them as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. Putting all the elements together to create that way of life that most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now and sharing it through an eco demonstration, teacher demonstration hub and village that people will be able to visit. And this is what one community is. We're going to build one community as a place that people can visit and experience. And if they like what they experience, if they like what they see, any aspect of it, they'll be able to take those details, those tools, those tutorials, the resources, all the specifics that they want and replicate them or adapt them or improve them. 
So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, we invite you to join us. We've got lots of different ways to participate, ranging from volunteers as a part of our all-volunteer team, to just sharing our information on social media, to joining us as a Pioneer member or a member of the core team. And of course, the easiest of those would be sharing our information on social media. If you'd like to help in a super simple way that anybody can do, like this YouTube video. Share our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to share and to access our information. But we need your help to do that. So if you're on Facebook, if you're on LinkedIn, if you're on Tumblr, if you're on Twitter, if you're on Reddit, about 15 other social media networks, we are on all of these networks to make it as easy as possible to share our information to get the word out and you can help in a very, very easy way. Uh, of course, the largest thing that one community is seeking right now, and it's not our primary focus, but if you or somebody you know has access to people that could help us to get the property off the market, to help us with large scale funding, we're still seeking that. The next big step for one community is completing all of the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints that we're ready to build. In the meantime, if, you, if anyone wanted to help us to accelerate our process, helping us secure the property, to get the property off the market, to get it under the ownership of the one community uh, nonprofit organization under our 501c3 organization would be a huge step because then we could share the details of the location, we could share pictures of the location, we could share the specifics of exactly where that is, and it would help legitimize our project to a whole new level. In the meantime, our focus is, of course, continuing to be ready to start building, working on the non, on the uh, crowdfunding campaign, which you talk about each each week, as well as all the foundations of everything necessary for the Earth Bag Village and the Ducal City Center. This is our big focus, and this is how we're open sourcing sustainability hubs, one step at a time taking our entire process of creation and doing all the extra work that's necessary to free share the food, the energy, the housing, the fulfilled living practices, the education model, the economic model, as well as the earth stewardship models, putting it all together as one teacher demonstration hub with every aspect of that open source and free shared so people can replicate it and then bring and then bringing together and maintaining the team that is happening, in, that is creating it all. The people with the consciousness for the highest good of all. The people that are thinking that now is the time that we're the ones we've been waiting for and that open sourcing sustainability hubs is a good idea and it's totally possible and it is a path to a world that truly works for everyone. And carrying that consciousness for the highest good of all to do the best that we can to create so that people that want to do it differently, so that people with different values, so that people that take what it is that we're doing and replicate it or take it in a completely different direction are still building off a foundation that was created completely for the highest good of all humanity and all life on this planet so that we can create this global network of teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs working together to build a planet that works for everybody within our lifetime through the self-replicating model, easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, and all the open source foundations that we are focusing on. This hour creating world change. We invite you to join us. We thank you for watching to the end of the video. Uh, thank you for the donations that we get. Small donations make a big difference in helping our project move forward. Thank you for the likes. Uh, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.